they're talking about so much about uh, even in politics, mm -hmm. morality of it, and I don't know where you get the, they're calling it ideology and all kinds of fancy names. So, and I started thinking about that. They were talking about a mushroom. It comes to mind when we were kids, mm -hmm. and we were picking um, mustard. They'd hire us to pull mustard mm -hmm. seeds out of the grain fields. They bloom, so the grain field was almost yellow from blooming mustard. Well, some of the kids were, uh, were, were supposed to pull these plants out by the roots and carry them down to the end of the field and mm -hmm. throw them in a pile so they could get rid of them. Well, when we're probably about maybe 10, 12, 13 years old when we're doing this and walking in a field. Well, see, some of the kites would, would cheat. They just pulled the flower off. There's no way they, uh, the farmer would have to walk through the field and check. He couldn't even find them because they're not blooming. Mm -hmm. So they pull the, the flower off, which was cheating. That was easy. It didn't jerk the flower to keep going and jerk the flower mm -hmm. off. What they're supposed to do is pull it out by the rut. Mm -hmm. Well, I started thinking this. What, when they're starting these classes to teach teenagers morality of every kind, mm -hmm. they're starting when it's bloomed, blooming, right? Yeah. It should be started like when we pull the roots out of it. Mm -hmm. This should be starting way before they pull that. You know, in compar comparing, mm -hmm. this is just a, what do you call it for comparison? So if if they the the teaching should have been started right at the root when it was coming up, like mm -hmm. little kids. Mm -hmm. I started thinking about that as a comparison, and. Um, uh, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not in education on what, what time you should be teaching kids what. So then, it, then when you start at a teenage level and you're real graphic about this, mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem, according to records, that it does a lot of good. Because mm -hmm. by that time, they form their own opinions. When you're, when you're little and you're growing up, it doesn't have to be a graphic teaching. Mm -hmm. It can be, they call it um, gentle persuasion. There you go. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can talk to little kids about what's right and what's wrong mm -hmm. and gradually build that up to where they're teenagers. They know what you're talking about. But that's the problem that the parents can't start getting graphic to a ch child that's four years old because mm -hmm. they don't know what you're talking about. So then you keep up to well, what age do they start understanding what you're trying to say? Mm -hmm. Well, this can all be eliminated mm -hmm. if this morality was taught from when they're little kids till they first start understanding what's right and what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And by the parents setting an example and keeping a positive um, attitude when the kids are wrong and teaching them things that they can get involved in, in mm -hmm. school, uh, whatever they're small, get, they can become interested in, well like when I was kid, I'm not saying that was a thing to do, I always got interested in model airplanes and reading mm -hmm. books and, and uh, maybe building clean shots and doing all mm -hmm. this. As they keep going with this, their mind forms in a positive way instead of start thinking about all these things that pop in your mind mm -hmm. way ahead of time. What At the time when they're supposed to be a childhood, if they don't have keep busy and curious, building curiosity in other ways, then their mind gets filled up with them. It's like what it's kind of like what can go wrong instead of what can go right. <laughs> yeah. So it's continuous growth. It's a continuous thing from the time they're just little. As soon mm -hmm. as they can understand from the time, mm -hmm. it's a continuous thing all the way up. Not wait until so called is blooming and mm -hmm. pull that flower off yeah. and grow it. Yeah. The rest of it's still there. Yeah. And and like I say, I'm not trying to say how they should. Uh, do edu well, moral, moral education in churches 
in a Stanley school and all right. that when that all that starts. Yep. And then don't say, don't do this. Yeah. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. This is immoral. Don't do this. Do this uh-huh. and do that mm-hmm. and do this. You don't have to talk about the rest of it because pretty soon it gets on the gross. Mm-hmm. And what are their school activities? They can be studies uh-huh. or extracurricular activities or things they can do at home, like uh, something constructive. I always bring up uh-huh. model airplanes. Yeah. Stuff, right? <laughs> Everybody Building should models. do models. And we have the kid supposed to be when they're 12 years old. Mm-hmm. Do they have to be interested in sitting watching shady uh, <laughs> TV movies? <laughs> I mean, it, it could be sitting there doing something else, mm-hmm. but the parents have to work at this. Mm-hmm. You can't just say, why don't you go and build a model airplane? Yeah. <laughs> why don't you do it? And they say, well, because I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're giving it up. Sit down with them yeah. and create an interest. Yeah. If they're interested in uh, horses, Work with it and get yeah. along. If the parents get yeah. along, they work with horses. Or if yeah. you're interested in uh, in sports, yeah. go to the games and get yeah. involved with them and say, yo, yeah. this is good. Yeah. Well, that in their mind is forming all the way up. That mind is forming without uh, it. I don't know how, you, how to explain that. Your um, way of thinking and your lifestyle gradually builds into a certain lifestyle when it's, and they get, do I have to do what everybody else is doing or can I start using my own mind and mm-hmm. being interested in why I'm interested in, mm-hmm. whether it's whatever. So, I don't know if I get my meaning across. Yeah, that's, yeah, you start with the mustard and then don't wait till it's. It's just or, like either you pull that mustard out by the roots or you pick the flower off and yeah, throw it. Yeah. Well, the easiest way is to take the flower off and throw it. Then yeah. you get a bunch of teenagers and say, all right, you're, you're 15, 16 years old. And it's time you, yeah. and, and you, okay, yeah. just sit there and say, no, don't do any like, this is what you shouldn't be doing. Uh-huh. You know, this is bad, this, uh-huh. is bad, this is immoral, this is immoral. Why not go the other way and say, well, mm-hmm. this is what you should be doing then. 